On Earth chaos seems to be erupting in many places like volcanoes. Change is accelerating as awareness also erupts due to whistleblowers and alternate news websites publishing information that has long been kept secret as part of the intention by the very few to control and enslave the rest of humanity. This new awareness cannot be contained. There are organizations intent on crushing it or ridiculing it in order to prevent the old order from collapsing. However, due to the ongoing enormously expanding communication abilities, allowing anyone to communicate instantly with anyone else anywhere on the planet, dark and sinister secrets can no longer be kept hidden. Consequently those who have for eons been used and abused by those who have taken power by stealth and corruption are now becoming ever more aware of how their trust in authority has been exploited and used against them. And they are refusing to allow it to continue. The old order is utterly dependent on willing men and women in the police forces, intelligence agencies, and the military who will unquestioningly carry out the orders of their superiors. These men and women are now realizing that they are the ones with the power, and they are asking questions and demanding honest and responsible answers as to why they should follow orders commanding them to control, disperse, or destroy other human beings. And of course there are no answers that can possibly justify those orders. Much of the chaos and confusion that is being reported in the mainstream media is arising as a result of the unwillingness of many varied groups of humans all over the planet, often employed by the police forces, the intelligence agencies, or the military, to continue cooperating with the authoritarian forces that have been in control for so long. Seeing, often for the first time, how they have been so systematically controlled and manipulated over the eons, they are now absolutely refusing to cooperate with the authorities who have and wish to continue removing or crushing the God-given rights of every human. Enormous changes are occurring all across the planet, and a return to the old order, where authoritarian regimes forcefully suppress and oppress their citizens, is now impossible. The grand scale of corruption on the planet that has enabled ancient family dynasties to remain in positions of enormous power and influence for generations, is being revealed. The light is shining in dark places that have been hidden from view, and disclosing the endemic corruption that is the concomitant of the will to power at all costs. When the light is shown into those dark places, the dark dissolves, and what remains is the decaying detritus of vested interests that can only exist in the darkest of environments. You have a saying, power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. This is true. In the illusion power is the ultimate addiction, no one who has experienced it ever wants to give it up, they always want more. Rising through the ranks of political, religious, military, or corporate organizations generally confers increasing amounts of power on an individual, who, completely seduced by it, will do anything for his superiors to continue rising up the ladder. Of course only the chosen few, the age-old dynastic families, have real power. For the rest it is but an ability to crush those beneath them who threaten their own positions or those of their superiors. When one of these is no longer of use to those in power, his fall is fast and catastrophic. That is where the expression dog eat dog comes from. Those who appear to really have power on the planet remain hidden, unknown to the general public, while playing their subordinates off against one another, or destroying them to suit their nefarious purposes. However power within the illusion is of course illusory, just smoke and mirrors, and once that is realized it is gone. This is what is occurring now on earth. As more and more of the dirty secrets and self-serving agreements of these power-driven moguls are disclosed, they end up like the emperor in the fairy tale, with no clothes. Most of them are now rushing away to hide, but there is no hiding place. The truth will out. For you light bearers and light workers, your earthly task remains the same, keep holding the light on high. You do this by making the daily intent to be loving at all times and in every situation, and by walking your talk. As you have been told so many times, there is only love. You either engage with it or reject it. Rejection of it drags you further into the illusion, into the seemingly endless nightmares of pain and suffering. Conditional love is not love, and does not work. Love is free, unconditional, accepting, forgiving, 
and healing, and it is God, the source of all that is. It is your divine nature that makes you eternally one with God. It gives endlessly, never seeking a return on its investment. It doesn't need a return on its investment because it is all that is. It expands lovingly and creatively forever, offering itself to all without exception. Time and the illusion will end and all will return home. In the meantime as you live out what some are calling the end times, do not attempt to judge those who have apparently so blatantly betrayed humanity and the planet. They are indeed misguided, and in great pain, which they hide, as they engage in their games of bitterness and hatred. They only do this because they have, as it were, fallen so deeply into the illusion that they really believe that there is nothing else. When people believe that, they tend to play the game that many describe as he who dies with the most toys wins. That is a game in which no one wins. Eventually all playing that game will cease to do so, but until they make that choice, they will find themselves in an environment in which they can continue to play it. The rest of humanity, who are seeking only peace and love, will return home. Your task, as you well know, is to assist in the awakening process by living with love fully alive in your hearts, and thus demonstrating love in action. To do that is the most powerful thing you can do to help your fellow man. You are, each one of you, incredibly powerful energy fields of love, because that is how you were created, and nothing can ever change that. Your God-given power, true power, real power, the power of love, spreads from each one of you out through the universe. There is no object, obstruction, or force field that can restrain or mitigate it. It is God, and you, and it is all that exists. Therefore rejoice in the knowledge that your relationship with God can never change, and that you will awaken into the divine reality for which you have been yearning for so long.